Welcome to the Pyramid Insider, friends. Today we have a very exciting one, the brand new Raw Micro Hunter HM1000. This thing is a badass little PCP carbine. You guys are gonna love it. Let's check it out. So the Raw Micro Hunter has been a long time coming. Raw announced this gun. Well, I don't even know if you can call it an announcement, but first showed this gun at SHOT Show like 2019 or so, uh, and it is finally hitting the market. So super exciting. They've had a number of years to kind of make some changes, get some things just right, final tune some stuff. Uh, and now we have this awesome little package that you can see is very small, uh, under 30 inches and uh, really sleek system. Diving into the details here, uh, we have an eight and a half inch LW barrel. Now just eight and a half inches. I'm not sure what kind of power we're gonna be getting out of this. You're supposed to be getting this as a 25 caliber, but it's also available in 22 and 177. In that 25 though, uh, raw saying about 28 foot pounds. So of course we're gonna put that to the test for you, but that is a lot of power out of a very small gun, uh, especially with this short of a barrel, but fully shrouded. We do have half 20 threads under this cap here. I'm not gonna show them to you right now just because YouTube's a little goofy with taking stuff on and off of guns. But inside of the shroud system, you do have their bark stripper, which is kind of an adjustable cone. You can move in and out. I've got it all the way backed out in there and seems to be running just fine. Dropping down below the barrel, we have a 210 cc aluminum bottle, and this thing fills to 200 bar, 3000 PSI. Now raw rates this around 30 shots here in the 25. We're gonna put it to the test with whatever shoots best and see what we're getting. But know that that is adjustable by way of a hammer spring adjustment located at the back of the action here. We'll get to that in a second. Now we have our typical V-block system here. So you have your pressure gauge here on the right hand side and flipping it over, we have our fill nipple there, male quick disconnect fitting with a nice cap that just slips over the top. Now the action is placed into the same raw chassis that you've seen on the HM1000X. Now we've got five M-lock slots on each side of the gun. Uh, so a lot of space to mount accessories as well as on the bottom, you can mount your Picatinny rail or if you have an M-lock mounting foregrip or bipod you wanna run on this gun, you can certainly do that there as well. Uh, dropping back a little bit, we do have the drop down side lever makes operating this gun a breeze, just super simple, very easy to use. Uh, opening that up, we do have the same magazines as we've come to know from the HM1000X. So a little bit wider magazines. This is gonna fit a wide variety of pellets or slugs. Uh, I don't suspect this gun in particular is gonna shoot slugs well, but you've got space to run them if you wanna try them. Uh, just fits into the breech like so. They do make uh, left hand loading and right hand loading magazines for those of you that may have a side wheel on your rifle or on your scope rather, and you need to uh, load from the opposite side. So you might wanna check that out. Uh, but taking the magazine back out, it's a 12 round mag here in 25, by the way, uh, and flipping the gun off safe, we can decock the rifle very easily just by holding the side lever back, pulling that trigger, uh, and you are all safe and good to go. Now dropping down to the trigger unit, we do have a manual safety here, very easy to flip on or off with your uh, index finger and the trigger, uh, just a beautiful two-stage trigger, very crisp adjustment. I'd say it's probably in the four to five ounce range, which is for me as a match shooter money. Uh, this thing is every bit of match grade and probably in my opinion, one of the best triggers you're gonna find on the market today in a higher powered gun. Uh, another thing to mention about this particular gun is you are running an 11 millimeter dovetail, not a pick rail like we see on the other raw rifles. So just know that you gotta get those 11 millimeter dovetail mounts. Uh, the grip is the standard A and B arms grip that we see on the larger uh, HM1000X chassis. Uh, you could swap this out for any A2 grip with no problem. You might want something a little bulkier or uh, just a little bit more hand filling because this is a, qu a very narrow, small grip. Fits my hands nicely, but for those of you with bigger hands may not. Uh, coming up here, you'll notice we have this slot on the right hand side of the kind of buffer tube extension. And that is actually how you get to your hammer spring adjustment. I 
mentioned this earlier. Uh, you take a little Allen key, there are some holes in the actual adjuster, and you can turn it clockwise to increase the output power or counterclockwise to decrease it. Now, that is going to have an impact on your power, obviously, the velocity of your pellets or slugs, but it is also going to have an impact on shot count. So know that going in. Uh, you know, if you want to play with the speeds, it's going to either give you more shots if you bump the speed down or less shots if you go a little bit hotter. We'll see where this guy's set when we get it out to the range. Now coming back, we have our normal AR buffer tube assembly. Uh, and this buttstock is actually pretty cool. You've got a cheek piece adjustment built in with this hand wheel right here, and you have some uh, length adjustment if you are a bit taller right at the back. You just depress that button and you've got a couple slots there to adjust it out if you need to. But overall, a very small, nice, lightweight package. Uh, it's a couple pounds. Uh, there's nothing to this gun. It's super simple. And if it's anything like Raw's of years past, this thing's going to be built like a tank and should shoot very, very well. But let's get it out to the range. I'm going to throw a different scope on this guy for the range just because this is not quite as much magnification as I would like. So we'll do that and uh, we will see you out there. All right, so stretching the raw micro hunter's legs out to 45 yards, it should be, it's a raw. It should be very, very capable at that distance. Uh, obviously, a larger, longer raw is going to be easier to shoot off the bench. This is not really a bench gun. This is a hunting rig, but that's okay. Uh, so at 45 yards right out of the gate with regular JSB Kings, five shots here in about three quarters of an inch. Uh, we expect a little bit better out of a raw, even with such a short barrel. So you've got the King Heavy Mark II's, it's preferred food. This group is five shots between a half inch and five eighths of an inch. So right in there. Um, this is what we come to expect out of raws. And this is good accuracy, especially again for such a short barrel. Now let's put it over the chronograph and see what kind of speed it's getting because I don't suspect it's moving very quick. Uh, but let's see what kind of power it's putting out. So taking the JSB King Heavy Mark II's, that's a 33.9 grain pellet, a heavy pellet. Uh, kind of surprised this light, little small barrel likes these pellets. But anyway, uh, over the chronograph, you are looking at 15 shots from 200 bar down to the reg pressure of 145 bar. Now that is cruising along right at about 637 feet per second average. I think our highest speed was 640. So you are getting right around 30 and a half foot pounds or so out of that. And uh, so that's more than raw stating but obviously means that this is set up a little bit hotter so obviously not expecting as many shots as advertised but uh, just 15 I would have thought we'd have gotten a little more your mileage may vary but uh, very good numbers exactly what you'd expect to see just a nine feet per second extreme spread on 15 shots so it's very very good the regulator certainly doing what it's supposed to and obviously uh, numbers like these when you keep it between 200 and 145 bar you're going to get great downrange accuracy as as well. All right, let's wrap up the raw HM1000 micro hunter here in the 25 caliber. Obviously the performance of this gun's very good. Accuracy is certainly there. Shot count is a little lower than I'd like or expected, I suppose as well. Uh, but the regulator is certainly doing its thing. You're getting very consistent velocities out of this gun uh, and it's a great system overall. You've got one of the best triggers out there. You've got a very smooth side lever system that operates flawlessly. Uh, nice, fully adjustable AR buttstock. Uh, and really at the end of the day you could do a lot of things to this gun from a customization standpoint whether it's adding accessories changing out the grip changing out the butt stock adding a folding stock you know so you can pack this in tighter for when you're going into the woods things like that there are a lot of great features here that make this uh, a phenomenal gun even at that high price point that it does come in at right around 15 1600 dollars but with that said it is a little bit loud uh, and like i said before i would like the shot count to be more right uh, so i'd be looking personally at maybe 
maybe uh, some other bottle option down the road in the future, but maybe we'll see raw do that. There's always that possibility, uh, but overall you can't deny that this little micro hunter carbine is just an awesome little package uh, and one you should absolutely check out. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on this gun for a number of years. It's finally here and you definitely need to go check it out next time you're cruising the website. For the Pyramid Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. Thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.